Hey guys, TGKS Productions. This g Live video is going to be breaking down some changes and improvements, you could say, that are going to be coming to g Line in the coming weeks and months. This includes a new license plate creator, some changes to online missions, and also includes a number of price increases and decreases to a number of vehicles. This was previously leaked by Spider Vice the day before, but with the current GTA Online event week, April 13th through the 19th, Rockstar has given us more information on their newswire. So let's go ahead and break them down. Starting off here, we have a new license plate creator. Now, Rockstar got rid of the iFruit app, which initially was where you could customize license plate in game for both your online characters, vehicles, and story mode. It looks like with this new license plate creator, you're going to be able to create up to 30 custom plates which I believe is the same for the iFruit app, and you'll be placing orders via desktop or mobile web browsers. So I'm assuming this is going to be like a website and not an app form. Maybe they'll bring it in app form later on, and then you'll be able to pick up and apply your plate in-game. So it seems essentially the same as the iFruit app. We also may be able to take advantage of some new designs that we couldn't previously take advantage of before but of course we're just gonna have to wait and see when this officially releases which it looks like according to rockstar games is going to be next week probably at the start of the next event week april 20th next rockstar talks about the changes that they made to the mission difficulty of the first dose fatal incursion as well as the cash increase to last those missions which i believe is 25 percent of an increase they said they're planning a few more changes soon and will continue to observe and balance the experience over time so they weren't really clear what those changes could be whether it's going to be to more of the first those last those missions other missions in gt online or something completely else either way in terms of missions i definitely could think of some missions that could use a decrease such as the agent ulp story missions and even the casino story missions there's a few there that i think definitely could have a difficulty decrease, maybe even a pay increase also. And lastly, it looks like Rockstar is going to be decreasing as well as increasing a handful of vehicles in GTA Online. This is going to be starting on April 27, 27, so a couple weeks from now. And the reasoning for the decreases was to make those vehicles more accessible. And then the ones that are going to have the price increase are going to be the ones that have maybe like outsized utility performance or powerful weaponry so let's go ahead and take a look at all of these vehicles that have these price changes so let's start off with the price increases here and this is a huge one the oppressor mk2 is now going to cost eight million dollars essentially i believe the price of like a megalodon card which gives you like eight million dollars that's a shark card is hundred dollars so around that if you wanted to buy this all in shark cards that's crazy i'm not sure if they're helping us here by deterring people from wanting to purchase this or helping them with wanting to outright purchase a shark card or shark cards also as a note if you saw any of these price comparisons on the newswire they're going off of the price that is not a trade price so if you have the trade price for the presser mk2 this is around like five million dollars more of course it doesn't even include upgrades so that is a huge price increase it essentially makes us one of the most expensive vehicles in gta online once this change takes place the other vehicles that are going to be having increased prices include the buckingham Acola, which is now going to be 4.5 million dollars i'm assuming given its stealth ability it could tend to be a griefing tool probably its reason for the increase we also have the declassic granger 3600 lx which has the amani tech that can be applied this is now going to cost two million dollars the the class 8 scramjet which is now going to cost four million dollars the Dubashi Champion is now going to cost $3,750,000. This vehicle also can have the Imani Tech applied to it. The Empante Deluxo is going to cost $5,750,000, which I'm surprised they're increasing the price of this vehicle. It does have the old missiles that the Oppressor MK2 used to have before the Criminal Enterprises DLC. However, it's a pretty slow vehicle. It can easily be countered, I would say. So I, I'm a little surprised they're increasing the price of this vehicle. The Pegasi 
Twitter is also going to be increased to $4,250,000. This vehicle recently can no longer be used in heist ever since the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC took effect. So it may have slightly decreased the value of this vehicle, in my opinion. And lastly, we have the Pegasi Weaponized Ignis, which is going to be increased to $4.5 million. A little surprised they're increasing the price on this one that much. I know it has house special works ability. Its minigun really isn't all that OP, but nonetheless, a pretty steep price increase in terms of some of the other ones we have on the list here. Moving on to the vehicles that have decreased prices, there are eight of them, just like there were eight vehicles that had increased prices or are going to have increased prices. And if you saw these price comparisons on the newswire, do keep in mind that it does not account for the trade price. We have the Brute Armored Box Fill, which is now going to cost $1.3 million. You can see why this vehicle is really pretty pointless in GTA Online. We also have the HVY Chernobog, or Chernobog which is now going to cost $1.5 million. It's probably going to be cut over in half, which is pretty nice. This vehicle actually isn't too bad for taking out jets if you're in Ghost Organization. It has pretty good range on the missiles. So this vehicle will be pretty nice having a price cut. We also have the Impante Runer 2000 which is now going to cost $3,750,000. There's a $2 million decrease on that. We have the Mammoth Thruster, which is now going to cost $2.5 million. The Mammoth Tula, which is going to cost $4.1 million. This is nice because this vehicle also can land in water and has the jet-assisted takeoff. We have the Ocelot Stromberg, which is now going to cost $2.5 million. I'm actually surprised they decided to decrease this vehicle as opposed to increasing it. I think they should have swapped this with the Deluxo. Because this vehicle actually isn't all that bad at taking out oppressors. At least that's what it was used for back in the day. So yeah, a little, little surprised they decided to decrease this vehicle. We have the Pegasi Oppressor, which is now going to cost $2,750,000. 2 this really is no longer used or not used as much ever since the Presser MK2 was added. And lastly, the RM10 Bombusha is going to cost $4,750,000. And yeah, this vehicle really has zero use in GTA Online, so not surprised I added this to the decreased prices list. And that is all the vehicles that have the increased and decreased prices. I definitely think they could add on to this list, such as like maybe the Hunter or the Laser having an increased price or even a vehicle such as like the Mogul that has a decreased price. And the last bit of information Rockstar leaves us with on the Newswire article is a state that they are going to be looking to rebound certain aerial vehicles in response to our feedback, and that is to be able to help protect the bystanders in free mode. And they're going to share more details on this as well as other fine-tuning efforts and service updates soon. So we may see similar changes to various aerial vehicles like we saw with the Presser MK2 with the Criminal Enterprise DLC where the missiles accuracy were decreased as well as the countermeasures were also decreased in terms of their cooldown time. All in all, I'm definitely happy to see Rockstar aiming to make more changes and improvements that are outside of DLCs. In any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and find it extremely beneficial. Please give it a like, subscribe, share it. As always, have a great day.